I could help draw <coughs> draw a plan. Oh. Cuz that I way that way you can follow the you follow the plan when you build it. And good morning, everybody. That's right, reading the book about the New York City Marathon, a race like no other. We will see, in case you are unaware, in yesterday's vlog, I announced that, yes, my next marathon, it's crazy, is the New York City Marathon in nine days from now. So we'll see if I can get through the book in the next nine days. But um, speaking of New York, you're probably wondering what my race strategy is. Um, I will be sharing more about it next week. I just wanna say, here is the elevation chart of the race. So it's not a flat course because you cross all these bridges. In fact, you gain and lose 950 feet of elevation gain and loss. 950 feet, like that's, you know, that's, that's a good chunk. Uh, but if you notice the top left corner of this graph that a good bit about what I'm looking at is about 200 to 250 feet of elevation gain at the beginning, which makes me really excited. Oh, going over the Verrazano Bridge, uh, so my legs will be fresh at the beginning of the race and you knock out just a good chunk right at the beginning of the race and then you got you get to use that downhill on the backside. But I'm gonna talk very soon about my strategy, about uh, my pacing, I promise, I promise, I learned my lesson in Amsterdam. Um, I've got some thoughts and ideas on how I will pace the race in New York City, but um, it's, it's actually incredibly exciting to think about going out, not with Michael Butter or Mikkel Butter from, um, and the reason I'm standing here is because I'm digging out clothes for my run today. Yes, it did snow last night and I'm catching up on laundry. We're catching up on laundry after Europe, uh, but uh, Michael Butter, who uh, was the pacemaker in Amsterdam, he is racing New York City. He was actually pacing Amsterdam. I think he went to 30K and then dropped and did a little workout afterward, but that was his kind of big tune-up for New York City. So he's, but I promise, I'm not going with Michael Butter. I'm letting him go. I'm not gonna run with him. So uh, anyway, here we go. Da -da. It's cold out, so I'm definitely gonna be dressing a little warmer than usual. Okay, what a day, what a day here. Not winning any fashion contest today. Oh my my. Oh my my. <laughs> I I need some strong boys to move the big box that arrived. Come on now. You guys got that you got it? We need your muscles. No, 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 it's in the it's in the bedroom. There you go. Oh, our room. There you go. Can you go get the big box? Straight ahead. There it is. Oh yeah, bring that too. Oh boy, can you even move it? You may have, just lay it down and then and then slide it. Perfect. Now push it from the back. You guys got it. You got it. Keep pushing. Push from the back. There you go. <laughs> what are they doing? Keep go all the way to the coffee table. All the way to the coffee table. <laughs> per perfect okay you guys you guys go sit sit on the couch <laughs> there you go okay here we go here we go Ugh. definitely everyone the biggest running gear box of 2019 has arrived all right let me let me get the big trusty knife. Stand back, everyone. This is my elk knife. Here we go. All right, what do you guys think it is? Any guesses? Hold on, ready? One, two, three! 
What is it? Oh, oh, oh. America, America. Oh my my. Here we oh go. My God. We're going to the world. We're going to the ship. We're going to the ship. We're going to the ship. The world championship bag. Uh, not too shabby. We're gonna have this the rest of our lives. Right? We're gonna use this the rest of our lives. Holy smokes. So everyone. And you guys. <laughs> more, more importantly, the boys have a new rocket ship. Guys, go. You can you can go decorate it. Think, boys, right now say thank you, USA Track and Field. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Now say it. Thank you, USA Track and Field. Track and field. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Hun, pretty cool. Let's let's see. Let's see what's inside. Oh my my. All right. All right. Let's see here. Hold on. Okay. Dude, this is so cool. Just this. Just I know. The just just the so suitcase. Cool. We're happy. We don't even need to know what's inside. All right, shall we? Oh, okay, let's. God. The boys I'm are preoccupied. Here. Michael's preoccupied. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, the singlets. Oh, oh my, my. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You want backpack? Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh. Look at this that singlet. Serious. Look at that singlet. Oh, USA, oh my, this USA. is, USA, oh, no, no. USA, oh that no, no. way, oh, so here we go everyone, the USA singlet, I'll put it on for you later, oh my, what do you think, Michael, what do you think, Say, yay. USA, oh, yay. oh my god, another hat, you know how I like running hats, oh my, Goodness. Oh, wow, that looks like a good one. Oh, hello, blue eyes. Feel good? Come on. Look good, feel good. good. You know how they you know what they say, look good, race good. So here we are. <laughs> and just so you know, I qualify for all the new folks out there, qualified for the US, uh, qualified for the World Mountain Running Championships about three or four weeks ago in New Hampshire. So I will be representing the United States of America in Argentina on November fifteenth. Am I racing the fifteenth? November 15th in Argentina. So uh, I'm a mountain runner at heart, attempting to race marathons as well. So that's this is so amazing. Hun. This is like the best Christmas, bag Christmas. Bag ever. Beyond our door. This is, so, this is what I thought it was going to be, like a suit, a little track Right, a little track suit. A little something for, that you get from the high school gym. <laughs> so even though I am getting ready for the New York City Marathon, I'm really excited about the, the development of speed on the roads and the turnover uh, for mountain running. And the race I'm doing in Argentina, it's only, it's like a little over seven miles. So it's not that, it's a short race. So having speed is good. It's really, really good. So I'm very happy about that. Han, so you're gonna open that up, Seth? I can't even handle it. Here, I do wanna see, I do wanna see a pair of shorts. Okay, that looks like Here, I got a pair. Oh, and nice, that lets uh, what you take to the, Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are really serious. Wow, okay. I love all the colors. I love USA. I love right? my husband. Oh. I love it. I love it. True love approves. Yes, I do. True love approves. So bada bing, bada boom. All right, there we go. We got it all packed up and thank you, USA Track and Field, for taking care of us. This was not expected. I didn't realize the bag was going to be so nice or that the gear was going to be so nice. This is beyond epic. So thank you again. And last little message is keep dreaming, right? It's like this world is a lot better when we're dreaming and we're chasing down goals and uh, overcoming challenges that pop up in our training or in races like in Amsterdam. Like that was a learning moment for me. But um, I was a 16, 27 guy in high school for the 5K in cross country. And it's a, it's a decent time, but it's, it's not, you know, it's not gonna uh, break any records. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but then with consistency, passion, and um, listening to the body, and taking, you know, taking little risks along the, along the journey over years, not over 
months or six months or two or three training blocks, but over years of running has led to this showing up at the house. So that's my little final message is just don't give up on what and, and big dreams and little dreams. You know, it's like, um, yeah, it's those little ones that are almost just as sweet as the big ones. So, woo, USA, USA. Oh, so fun. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, stick a fork in me, I am done. Oh, I am so tired, it's definitely still recovering from the uh, from Amsterdam, from the marathon, but uh, the jet lag, or I don't know, I, I, my sleep has been pretty good since returning, but I definitely need a really good night's sleep right now. It is 6.30 p.m. and I think I'm gonna go to bed soon, so. Uh, ran today. I did go five miles, 7.35 a mile. There it is in kilometers on your screen. And um, so what else was I going to tell you? I don't even remember because I'm so tired. All I know is I love you. Oh yeah, that was a little rendition of our dinner time. It's always exciting at the dinner table. You know, it's always exciting. Um, okay, question of the day. What is a little dream or goal that you have uh, and that you want to accomplish? before the end of 2019 all right you know got a couple months left a little over a couple months so it's time to figure out um do i have a goal that i set at the beginning of the year and it could be a little you know it doesn't have to be a big goal just a little one um let it share down below because i know i actually should go back and review some of my goals for 2019 to see how i'm doing so anyway that's the question of the day thanks for being here thanks for watching you guys rock and uh, we're gonna keep fighting, keep fighting, keep and keep sleeping. <laughs> you got It's good to fight. It's good to sleep. All right, tossing it back to a couple old vlogs. One from 2018, because there's a lot of new vlog uh, subscribers, so that'll be on the right. And this is just a throwback vlog from last year. And then on the left, we'll toss it back to a recovery vlog where I talk about tips for recovery after tough races. All right, there you go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.